beautiful city right there, Denver, Colorado. Special edition of the NBA in Stephen A's world. Game one of the NBA Finals. Denver Nuggets hosting the Miami Heat. Loving it, looking forward to it, especially considering the guests that I got coming into the house, okay? I got Josh Hart of the New York Knicks. Baby milk it all. I got Rob Lowe in the house, okay? I got comedian Dion Cole in the house. The great Peyton Manning. Cody Martin, the twin brother, Kayla, the brother rather, of Kayla Martin. Her, you know the five-time Grammy Award winner. This woman is special. She's special. She's coming into the house as well. I got a whole crew of people. This is the NBA in Stephen A's world. You know what time it is. It's about time for this game. My sister Karma's not here. Love you, girl. <laughs> Love you, girl. Boy, I miss this food. I've got a guest in the house already. Big time acquisition picked up by the New York Knicks. Played well. I'm not mad at him. I, I got love for him. The one and only Josh Hart. But before I do, you know I, I put out a tweet yesterday because you had to, or, I mean, I don't know what the hell you were thinking about asking folks what it's like to, uh, to, to, to have you ever drank uh, uh, breast milk. What, what, what was that about? What was that about, Josh Hart? <laughs> All right, for, for, first off, first off, I know every new father have, has has wondered this. So right. um, it was brought, we had family and friends over. It was brought up. I never did it. Um, right. Somehow I got finessed into doing a little milk uh, taste test. You know, I'm not going to lie. It was exceptional. It was like sweet almond milk. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't think I'm, a, I'm not going to use that in my cereal or anything like that. But I mean, it was, you know. <laughs> A couple, a couple of sips, you know, it was solid, bro. My br brother so, used so, to so, try. So it wasn't that bad. So it wasn't that bad. No, it, so it, even no, though you it, didn't it, try, it was smooth. So you didn't try, but you ended up trying it. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to. I was really against it, right. but you know what I mean. It just right. it happened, and you know, I'm not mad. I did it. You know, it was. It All was right. Solid. So Josh Hart is now synonymous with breast milk. I just want you to know that. Now, I just want you to know. If I come back to right with that. If I shoot forty five percent from three, it, it, it might be because of that. I mean, you might see that be a new trend, my brother. I might be a trend trendsetter. I got you. Look at those numbers right there, ladies and gentlemen. Benedict Matherin for the Indiana Pacers, first team all rookie, 28 and a half minutes a game, 16.7 points per game. By the way, that's the most by a Pacers rookie since Chuck Person in 1986-87. Made first team all rookie, like I just said. Benedict Matherin right here next to yours truly. So as you've been watching this game, what have you been seeing thus far that has you worried about for the Miami Heat? Well, I'll say, um... Pretty much the way they're guarding Jokic. I mean, you know, I feel like they've been doing a pretty good job with Jokic. But Jamal Murray has been playing pretty good. Um, Aaron Gordon as well. And, you know, KCP as well. So I feel like that was the biggest thing. You know, they, they got it fixed. What should Denver worry about going up against Miami? What can Miami do in your estimation to exploit Denver? I would say just outplay them. You know, Miami is a you know, team known, you know, being both ways of the floor, offense and defense, having Jimmy, you know, playing out the square right now and playing really good. Mm -hmm. So pretty much just playing, playing, playing harder than Denver. All right. Who is the most difficult team for you to play against this year? Difficult team? Yes, to play against this year. Mm, probably Milwaukee Bucks was definitely one of them. Miami okay. Heat as well. OK. You know, they play the defense really hard and, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Having Drew, Drew Holiday guarding me as well. Yeah, I was getting ready to ask you, who was the toughest person to go against? Go against, I'd say, Drew Holiday or, yeah, I think Drew Holiday is definitely top one for me. He can defend. See, I can't wait for this, okay? Because you know Stephen A going to get it wrong because he always gets it wrong. But I'm here for you, okay? Because it's my show. It really should be my show. And I'm going to show you why by making an accurate prediction because he never does. I'm going with the Miami Heat. They're going to win this series in seven games. It'll be up and down, tipsy-turvy, back and forth and all of that. But at the end of the day, Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat are walking home with the trophy. I'm talking about the brother of Caleb Martin, a member of the Charlotte Hornets. Mm -hmm. Hasn't played much this year due to injury. How's that knee going, Cody Martin? Going How's good. It, is it going all right? Yeah, it is. I just want to make sure it's good to see you, my man. Too, How's everything having. going, man? Going good, thank I'm, you. I'm sorry I don't have any food for you. My sister Carmen is <laughs> not here, so I don't have any food for anybody good, today. Man. I usually grub and stuff like that. You see him, he going to grub. You no doubt. That, right? <laughs> no you know doubt. That, right? And, of course, my man Jalen Rose is in the house. What up, though? 
Put it in your own words what it's like for you to see your brother, not just playing in the NBA Finals, yeah. but playing the way that he's played to help lead them yeah. to the NBA Finals. I mean, it's special. I mean, you want to, I mean, as a kid, you dream of stuff like this and just to be able to be here to support him, watch him play and kind of see everything come to light. I mean, he's worked his tail off to get here. He's been through ups and downs. Like, I'm sure a lot of people has been in their career and he mm -hmm. stayed with it. I mean, it's a special moment. This is a guy that was let go by the Charlotte Hornets. Y'all yeah. were on the same team together. And obviously, he had potential, but nobody saw yeah. this. Did you see this? I've seen it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Wow. I've seen him play against a lot of people. And, you know, we play in a lot of gyms with no cameras, all that stuff. And I've seen him bust a lot of people's tail. I put it like that. And uh, I knew for a long time what he was able to do and what he's capable of. So for, for me to see this, it's not. I'm not surprised. I'm just honored to be here and see him, you know, everything he's done, all the work he's put in, paying off. Could you put into words what kind of hope it gives somebody like yourself and other players on the come up to see your brother sure. in this situation doing what he's done? Yeah. What does that do for y'all? I mean, if it doesn't if it doesn't give you any type of motivation or inspiration, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm older by him by a minute, and I stand <laughs> on that. But, you know, he's inspired me. You know, because I know how hard he's worked. I know how hard I'm working. There's a lot of guys watching this and watching him that are working just as hard. And if you see this and you're not working just as hard, that's on you. But it just shows you that it could be done. And it doesn't really matter what label you got. You know, because at the end of the day, when he came into the league, he was an inefficient scorer but couldn't play defense. And then the next two years, he was a... Right. We got to go to break. Michael Porter Jr. is down. I don't see that as being something serious. He's just holding his face right now. We'll see, though. He is down. Okay, Cody, appreciate you, my man. Appreciate Thank you so much for me. being here. The hell with the game for a second, okay? I'm talking about this brother right here. Actor, comedian, used to be on Blackish. The brother's doing stand-up. He's doing great things, okay? He's got a new show coming out called Average Joe, which premieres June 26th on BET Plus. I got to go see this man in concert. This brother is special. I've been waiting to meet him. It is my honor and privilege to welcome the one and only Dion Cole to the NBA yes, uh, in Stephen A's world. What's up, big time? What's up, big what's time? Up, what's Stephen? going on? Hey, man, good to see you, brother, man. How you doing, man? Thanks for having man, me, man. man. Man, please, it's, it's the pleasure is all mine, man. Thank you so much for being on this show. Now, how big of a basketball fan are you? I know you're from Chicago, and I know you yeah. love your Bulls, but damn it, they ain't gave you much to care about recently. How big of a basketball I, fan are you? I know I'm still a Bulls fan, man, all day long. So, you know, my heart, you know, my heart is in the gutter right now. But uh, I, I'm going to ride with them all the way to the end. You know what I'm saying? But, let me move on to this game right here. Who do you have winning this series and why? Man, for the same reasons that I done heard you talking about that. Here's, here's, the, here's the difficult thing. You see a team that's like Denver, that's big and that can really get it. But Miami just got this dog in them, man, that just come and they just come out sporadically. And so it's like, man, as, as much as I want my I want Miami to win, but my mind's telling me Denver's going to go all the way with it. So, yeah, Denver. Well, 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 let me ask you this. Why do you want Miami to win? I mean, these ain't the Chicago Bulls. Why do you want them to win? I just think I just think that they didn't overcame so much. I just feel like, man, it would be a real good story for them to win and, and, and beat all odds and come through and show perseverance and give, you know, uh, an inspiration to a lot of people out here, man. I mean, the, obviously, Denver is too strong, too big, too many opponents, but uh, it would be something else if Miami pulled this off, man. Miami's going to have to find a way to figure these boys out. They just seem so much bigger. They're hitting their perimeter shots. They're getting to the hole all the time. And right now, they've got a 15-point lead on the Miami Heat as we speak. With the ball and an opportunity to go up as much as 17, which they were already up 17. Just there. Look at that spin move by Jokic and a nice touch around the basket. This is why the man averages a triple-double this postseason, okay? This is why, because he does stuff like that in the Miami Heat. Look in a little bit of trouble. Halftime has arrived. 59-42. The Denver Nuggets are up on the Miami Heat. Out of bio. Does have 16 points and 8 of 13 shooting. He's shown up. But Jamal Murray, 
He's got 18 on 8 of 12 shooting. Aaron Gordon, he's bullied his way to 14 points and 7 of 9 shooting. It is an honor and a privilege to have this next guest with me. He's a five-time NFL MVP, okay? The man is a Super Bowl champion multiple times. I'm talking about the great Peyton Manning. By the way, my partner, what's going on, man? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? Good I mean, to see look, you. I, I had to have my partner here. I mean, uh, who, who would have ever thought that I'm producing something with the great <laughs> Peyton Manning, okay? <laughs> Omaha Productions, Mr. SAS Productions. What's going on, man? How am I doing, man? How am I doing? You're am doing I, outstanding. Am I doing all right? I just uh, want to make sure I'm making you proud. I'm just glad you're here. <laughs> In Denver, you brought the Nuggets to the finals, so I'm That's giving great. you all the credit nah, for that. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. How have you been, man? What you been up to? I'm doing great. Uh, I'm living in Denver for 11 years now. Mm -hmm. Football town, hockey town, and now right. now a basketball town. Exactly. So um, it's been great, and um, it's been a fun run to watch these you Nuggets. Know, do you realize, first of all, this is how great you are. Not only were you a great football player, not only were you a winner, okay, one of the greatest quarterbacks to have ever lived, but damn it, you're pretty damn good at production because guess what? I would have never had this show if I didn't watch the Manning cast. Well, it's been fun to be on the other side of it. And, the, and the, obviously, the Manning cast has been a lot of fun. Right. And, and just like what you're doing, it's bringing a different viewer right. to the game, uh, getting some younger eyeballs on and get some right. people that might not normally watch a game. So it's been fun to be a part of it. Do you realize that you gave me a reason to justify my emotional state of mind sometimes? <laughs> I watched how passionate, how passionate you get with some of these NFL games and how you just, what were they thinking? Why would they do such a thing? And I went like this. That sounds like me. <laughs> that sounds like me. Well, it's a fun way to watch a game because you're watching it as a fan and right. you're watching it with your friends and right. the viewers kind of sitting here on the couch right. with you. And, and so that's what it's all about. I'd be remiss and neglecting to ask a football question. How you feel about Aaron Rodgers as a New York Jet? I like Aaron Rodgers to the Jets. Right. Because? He's excited. I like the fact that he knows the system. Mm -hmm. Hackett's the coordinator. Aaron's going to be able to speak the language. He's going to be able to know the system better than anybody in that huddle. He's going to be able to play fast. He's not going to be thinking out there. And I saw him uh, recently at the Kentucky Derby. I can tell he feels rejuvenated. Mm -hmm. I like the Jets this year. How should I feel about your Denver Broncos with Sean Payton here? Russell Wilson didn't have the greatest year last year. I'm not blaming him totally, but obviously there's some things he could have done better. Are you feeling better about your Denver Broncos for this upcoming season? Just saw Russell Wilson down there. Sean Payton is sitting next to me. Sean has brought some new juice here. He's going to get the best out of Russell. Russell feels rejuvenated as well. I like my Broncos. I wish the Chiefs would get out of the division, Stephen A. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're, they're not, not going happen. anywhere. They're not so happen. we still got some work to do. I like Sean Payton a lot. Yeah. I think he's a great coach. Good you think he's a great coach? For sure, 100%. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to bring that championship mentality back to the Broncos, just like the Nuggets have right now. You know what? One more football question. I'm looking at Lamar Jackson. He got his money. He's in Baltimore. They've got some expectations. But I'm looking at Josh Allen, and I've got expectations for him, too. Took a step back, slight step back, once Brian Dable left to go take the head coaching job with the New York Giants. When you scour the AFC, forget about Patrick Mahomes. We know what he stands for. Who are you looking at? Well, I still like the usual suspects. I like Cincinnati. I like Buffalo. Look, the expectations for Josh Allen are fair. I lived that for a long time. Hey, you're having these great regular seasons. Right. You get in the playoffs. It's not going well. Look, it comes with the territory. Josh knows that. I mean, nobody wants to bring a championship more to Buffalo than Josh Allen, and I think that he will. Mm. It's just, look, Burrow and Mahomes are going to be here for a while. That's right. They're not going anywhere. So if you're going to beat them, uh, somebody's got to take it from them. That's the beauty of football this upcoming season because I think Aaron Rodgers can beat both of them. Who yes. knows? If anybody could, he could. But yep. anyway. You know something? I believe in my show. The NBA is Stephen A's world, and it's usually just because of basketball, but damn it, it's because of the guests that I have. And it's a special one right here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, she's an Academy Award winner. She's a five-time Grammy Award-winning musical artist. She is sensational. You know her as her, and that's all you really need to know. But her name is Gabriella Wilson. What's going on, you? Hi, What's how up? are you? It's so good to meet you. How's everything going? Oh, my gosh, I feel grateful to be here. Everything is amazing. We are honored to have you. I know that you've been hanging out with the ABC team you and know. everybody just, you know, for the NBA Finals. What has that been like for you hanging around basketball folks? It's amazing. I'm a okay. basketball fan, so I'm okay. having an amazing time. I'm honored to be here. Now, I got to admit, you know, I, I was kind of surprised because <laughs> as we sit here watching the Denver Nuggets be up 19 points, looking like they're about to run Miami out of the building, 522 left in the yeah. third quarter. Denver's up 74-55, but Miami has just scored so they pull within 17. Bam out of bio is playing. You know, I was watching you. 
<laughs> and uh, uh, I saw you playing against Gary Payton the second. Yes. <laughs> and I saw you beat GP the second. In a little shooting contest. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, what was that like? It was amazing. Really? I felt very uh, proud of myself. Right. But, you know, I got some skills low-key. Right. You know. So so, so you had to embarrass an NBA professional. I, I had right? to, man. Right. I had to. Gary Payton's good. Now, see, here's how he gets away with it, because he's not really a shooter. He's a defensive <laughs> ace. Now, had you beaten Steph or Clay, they might have need to turn into a basketball card right, if they well, had let you beat them. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Well, you going to go up against Steph? You know, I'm, Steph's uh, coach, he told me I had a really, really good shot. So you, you never know. You never know. Steph Curry. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> Look at this right here. See, he gets, uh, he's, he's a great guy, by the way. But yes, he gets, he he's living the good life. Uh, now, uh, now, where are you from? Remind my audience where you're from, please. I'm from Vallejo, California, the Bay okay. Area. Okay. Now, how do you feel, even though they're still in the Bay, about the Golden State Warriors departing from Oakland and the Oracle to be at the Chase Center in San Francisco. Me personally, yeah. I miss the Oracle. I miss Oracle, but because I have memories there, being a kid watching Baron Davis and Monte Ellis okay. and all of these, you know. Okay, I don't know best, okay. <laughs> you know your you know, basketball, all right, all right. A little bit, a little right, bit. But right. I, I went to so many games as a kid, so um, I do miss Oracle, but Chase Center is a really great vibe and I love the city, so okay. it's fun. You love San Francisco? I do, yeah. You know, I struggle with San Francisco. It's I, okay. I, I, I struggle with San Francisco. The hills, I mean, every damn, every damn street look like I, I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to catch a cramp. <laughs> I'm about to catch a cramp. Get every walking up them daggone hills. It's getting on my nerves, you know? <laughs> it really, really is. I'm just reading some stuff here because I'm reading some stuff about you and the Warriors and how they exceeded some expectations and stuff like that. And you spent a good amount of time with them. I yeah. want to know, what's your favorite Steph Curry story? Honestly, my story that I have with Steph, you know, when I went to the game and it had been a long time since I went to Warriors game and I mm -hmm. finally got to meet him. That was my first time meeting him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gave me his jersey. Oh. And that was a really special moment for me. So that whole day was amazing. But yeah, definitely. You know what I've been trying to figure out? You know what the quiz, I think, is a beautiful quiz question for somebody, everybody in the sports world. Name one damn thing Steph Curry's done wrong. Because I can't figure it out. Mm. I mean, the man is as close to perfection as they come. He's the greatest shooter <laughs> God ever created. He's a four-time champion, a league MVP, two-time league MVP. He's an NBA Finals MVP. He's the babyface assassin. He looks good. He's got a great <laughs> wife, great family. He's mm -hmm. making all the money in the world. He can play golf. And now he's doing commercials with Kevin Hart and Allen Iverson that are hysterical. There's nothing that this guy does yeah. that is a blemish. I almost want to see a pimple on his face just to remind <laughs> myself that he's human. That's how I feel about Steph Curry. You know what I'm saying? Same. I agree, I agree. Okay, I'm just checking. I'm just checking. She thinks I'm crazy, but Ooh. that's okay. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Oh, I couldn't wait to have this next man on the show with me. I, it was honored to meet him a few months ago when I did his podcast, to be quite honest with you. Uh, listen, I, I love this show that you're doing. I love you. You know I'm I'm your biggest fan, and I, you were made for this, man. This makes even – it takes a Stephen A. Smith to make a blowout scintillating and you're doing it. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I've learned from the best watching guys like you. Listen, you know your basketball. You know, I know you're a fan. I want to know how are you in the aftermath of watching your, the Denver Nuggets sweep the Lakers? Are you okay? You know what? I'm okay because I, I think that my doppelganger, Rob Palenka, went from zero to hero with those last second moves that got us into the playoffs. I don't think any of us were thinking that season was going anywhere. We pulled the rabbit out of the hat, but Denver, look at, they're, they're a, ch a championship team. And I'm watching tonight's mm -hmm. game and the Heat look like a playoff team, but they don't look like a championship right. team, at least not tonight. The best team won, we'll have our day. By the way, by the way, I don't know if you're looking at the screen right now, but there's a photo of you <laughs> and Lakers GM Rob Palenka. I mean, there, 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 there's some similarities there. I mean, is this something you need to know about the bloodlines? Is there, is this something that you kept from the public about your relationship with Rob Palenka? Y'all look a lot alike, man. It's, it, it's, I think it's just all in the jawline, maybe. <laughs>
I got you. I got you. Hey, Rob, listen, man, I want to transition because obviously the Denver Nuggets are up 16. Miami's trying to claw back. They've been down as much as 21. It's 10, 15 left in the game. 84, 68. The Denver Nuggets are ahead, pretty much having their way. I think they're too big right now, too strong, fresher legs, because they didn't have to go through a seven-game series the way Miami did. We just saw Kyle Lowry pull up from three. They pulled them with an 84, 71. But let me ask you this. What have you, what has disappointed you about what you've seen in this game? Well, well, I think my, Miami, then, they got great looks, right? And and they not making shots. Obviously, Caleb Martin and Max Struess. I'm a little disappointed in their exposure because in the finals game on the road, once he saw that those guys didn't have it going early in the game, I thought he should have leaned more on his experience, his bets like Kyle Lowry and Kevin Love. I actually thought he should have started Kevin Love in this game, to be honest with you. Uh, really? It went big. Yeah, and put Kevin Love on Jokic. I know he can't stop him, but you could have put Bam on Aaron Gordon. That would have took away Aaron Gordon from from going early. Now you have your identity. You have to remember, K-Love started all the way up into the, Boston, the middle of the Boston series, and then he mm. took Kevin Love out of the rotation. That don't mean you can't bring him back. Yeah. That's true. How do you explain the fact that Caleb Martin has won a seven shoot from the field, at least through the first three quarters, and Max Struess was 0 for 10? Well, I say it's just like walking in the boxing ring when you're going against Floyd Mayweather. Your first time having that mega fight, Floyd sometimes already didn't won the game when you approach, when, when, he, when, the, when guys approach the ring. And I always tell people, your first time in the finals, especially as a young guy, that's enough in itself. So, especially on the road. So maybe those guys had a, you know, was a little nervous and was a little overwhelmed from being in the NBA Finals. I give them a pass. Hell, it's only game one on the road, but I feel like they won't shoot like that again. I'm with you. High motor, high energy. He's long, athletic. He gives them what they need, and he's earned the right to play. He didn't earn minutes. I thought when he came in in the Boston series, he was great for them. I think Eric Spoel should lean more towards him. Look, Cody, Cody Zeller, he cannot play this series. No, he can't. Eric Spoel should not completely go away from him and play Camp of Love, but I got to give credit to the Denver Nuggets. You do Jamal, big, Jamal Murray is something special. Yeah, he's something special, no doubt. He's got 26 or 50% shooting. Yogi's got 27. Vincent's got 19 on, on, on 50% shooting. And Adebayo, Bam Adebayo showed up and played. He had 26 points. Jimmy Butler didn't show up in this game. Caleb Martin and Max Struess didn't show up in this game. Duncan Robinson, he hasn't done much in this game. I'll say it like that. And like you talked about Cody Zeller, let me tell you something right now. Any man that's lost more hair than me, and so flagrantly so. And on top of it all, the hair that he has is all gray. Should not be assigned to go on the court and defend against Nikola Jokic. I just no, think there should be a law against that. I just think there should be a law against that, Kendrick Burke. <laughs> but it's you know what? Trip. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. The positive for Miami is that Bam Real quick, go finally ahead. got going offensive. That's true. He did finally get going. Listen, you got going. I saw you on NBA Today. I don't understand why Richard Jefferson got a short with his all his shirt and all his buttons on his shirt unbuttoned. I don't know what the hell he's looking for. Maybe a roll of Chippendales or something. But we'll talk about that another time. This 104-93. Denver wins game one by 11. They was up by as many as 21 points. Bottom line is they look like they over they were too much of an overmatch for the Miami Heat. But it's just one game. KP, appreciate you, Big Perk. Thanks so appreciate much, man. You, I'll see you thanks. next time. No All doubt. Right. The one and only Kendrick Perkins. That's it for me. Thank y'all for joining me. That's it for this year's edition of the NBA and Stephen A's World. Thank you for joining me for all the shows that you did. Love y'all. Catch me on NBA Countdown for the rest of the NBA Finals. Take care. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.